Meet the Winghead Shark. Like many sharks of the world, the winghead shark was first officially described a long time ago, and was thus called Asqualus zagina, which eventually becomes Sferna zagina after a time, Yusfira, which translates to good hammer. The parts of the skull which make up the hammer are called the cephalofoil. This is because it's part of the head, the cephalus, and may act as a hydrofoil for the shark to ride currents and cut through the water with ease. If we take a look at all of the living hammerhead sharks, from the bonnet head with one of the shortest cephalofoils, to our current best friend, the winghead, with the longest cephalofoil, which would you think is the most primitive in the characteristics it has kept through the millions of years? I don't know about you, but I would think the one with the smallest cephalofoil would have split off the hammerhead tree the earliest, with more and more recent splits having bigger cephalofoils. The reason I would think this, and perhaps you too, is because in general, organisms start out small, with less specialized bits and bobs. When it comes to the hammerhead sharks, this is reversed. The most primitive form of modern hammerheads is the winghead shark, followed by your average hammerhead, like the great hammerhead or smooth hammerhead, with the bonnet head the most recent evolutionary change. Of course, all of them have continued to change to pressures in their environment, and none of them are literally primitive. The winghead shark is far from just a stretched out version of a hammerhead. The cephalofoil is about half the length of the shark's body, which is kind of crazy to me. The nostril openings are stretched out and are twice as long as the width of the mouth. The eyes are placed on the ends of the cephalofoil. The cephalofoil itself can't be called eye stalks, since it's not made of eye bones, but the entire skull. What is interesting about the winghead shark's vision is that since the eyes are positioned near the front of the cephalofoil's ends and are oriented forward, the shark has incredible binocular vision. A stretched noggin also pulls the nostrils farther apart than in other hammerheads, letting the shark know from which direction smells are coming from even better. Apparently, there's also a lateral line across the face. Since there is a larger surface area on the winghead shark's head, it can sense pressure and vibration much better. What does it use these enhanced abilities to eat? 